Hello dear friend, Marco for your perfumes. This is episode 135 and in today's episode I'm reviewing Ente Paquet by the house of La Tafa, which is a unisex fragrance. It's an Atta fragrance, so it's uh, aroma chemicals or oils, essential oils mixed with water. So please don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe and of course like ever, tap the bell. So every time there's a new release you will be informed. Okay, let's start first with the box. Antifacat Eau de Parfum Concentration, it's an altar. You have uh, the natural uh, alcohol inside. Uh, it's really nice, but you need to shake it. It's special of usage because it's for religious purpose. Very nice Antifacat Eau de Parfum by La Tafa, 100 ml, 3.4 ounces. I bought online 20 euros, 20 dollars for this quantity. Beautiful fragrance, only for connoisseur. Only for Mathieu nose and for those who like Oriental because it's an Oriental fragrance. Bye bye. This is the amazing bottle. The bottle is heavy. As you see, antifacatic green with gold inscription. Really nice bottle. The cap is nice, but it's on the light side and it doesn't clip perfectly. And please don't even try. The atomizer is good. I forgot to shake it. Every time before you use it, you have to shake it. Ah, oh, but it's a marvelous fragrance. A marvelous, not for teenager. So the genre is basically oriental woody floral. The top note provided by basically La Tafa are not the best, but I will elaborate. So on the top, you got mandarin, you got pear, you got berries, you got bergamot. In the heart, you got tulip rose, and in the base, vanilla, white musk, and sandalwood. The picture of this fragrance. Well, it's a spicy, woody, floral, oriental fragrance. It's an attar, a mix between essential oil and water, but it got a little bit of denature, uh, denat uh, alcohol, uh, at least in, in the box it's written. So you have to really, really shake it a lot every time before you spray it. Okay? You got, I feel here, basically oud. You got mandarin in the opening, in the heart. You got also floral note, white magnolia, tulip. Um, you got honey, you got rose. It's quite ozonic, but in the same time, it's a heavy scent because it's woody. And you got leather. It's also spicy, earthy, musky, a little bit creamy because of some wood. You got many woods inside and, of course, also wood accord in this one. Many woods, as I told you, it's a woody fragrance, quite spicy, very oriental. You got uh, Madagascar vanilla, smoky oud. Yes, this is what you feel. But I feel also oregano in the opening. You got also pepper. I love it. But it's mature and it's unisex. It leans a little bit more feminine, but it's a unisex fragrance, trust me. Oh yeah, yeah, there is a oregano in the opening and pepper. You got also lemon or maybe bergamot. And in the base, you got leather, wood, sandalwood and patchouli. Yes, it's an oriental fragrance, not for everybody. The last thing, if you let it macerate, because you need to let it macerate this one, seven hours on my shirt, four on my skin. It's like that, I have a dry skin, not too much dry, but it's a little bit dry. So let it macerate, shake it a lot. Um, it does not project a lot, it's, the sillage is quite discreet, but it's a great fall and uh, winter fragrance, very, very up class, very special, very unique. Oh, this, trust me, nobody will wear, very woody also, more woody than woody, in my opinion. You can wear this one in special occasions, in holidays, for Christmas, for New Year. More for Mathieu nose, in my opinion. Uh, those who like freshies don't go for this one. Uh, it's a little bit, as I heard, I don't know because I never smell it, similar to Guerlain uh, Cuir Intense. This one I heard. Uh, the last thing, again, four hour on my skin, uh, seven hour on my shirt, and uh, the projection not so good. So the last thing I will give it eight out of ten, the projection four out of ten. The sillage, 5 out of 10. Uh, the demography, I will say over 30 years old, so I give it 6 out of 10. The occasion, 
basically the cold weather, winter, fall, and only for uh, basically those kind of season, I will give it a note of 6.5 out of 10. The uh, occasion to wear it dressed up, going to special occasion on holidays, on Christmas, New Year, or whatever holiday you got, perfect for this one. So I give it a note of 9 out of 10 for that because it's more for this kind of special occasion. It's a special scent, trust me. Look at the bottle, beautiful. And basically, uh, I will say only the value proposition here is, in my opinion, 8.5 out of 10. The demography, I told you 30, over 30 years old. And of course, this one, in my opinion, this one, it's quite divisive, quite polarizing. But if you like good fragrances, go for this one, trust me. This one is not sell a lot uh, in other countries than Middle Eastern because this is the taste of Middle Eastern fragrance. But it's a very quality fragrance, trust me. Again, shake it a lot and buy it. So, should you buy it? Should you consider it? Or should you avoid it? Well, buy it, but don't blend by it. Smell it first. If you like, only if you like Oriental fragrance. And the note I will give on this one is... 8 out of 10. And the fact that by La Tafa, it was a short review. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.